hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen if this is your first time here you are welcome my name is MC and today we're going to talk about my top 10 useful kitchen tools gadgets equipment whatever it is just my top 10 useful items in this kitchen i was about to film a recipe but i started looking for my scissors and it took me about 20 minutes to find that scissors and it was at that moment it dawned on me that my scissors is very very useful and very important in this kitchen and i thought to myself hmm, maybe it would be a good idea to do a video about my top 10 most useful kitchen tools gadgets appliances anything so if you're interested in this video keep watching don't forget to click the like button and subscribe let's get started of course the first item is my scissors i use it all the time not just for vegetables i use it to cut nylon i use it to cut so many things noodles spice <laughs> I use my scissors for a lot of things and some people were saying in my last video Susie, I mean, I didn't know you could use scissors for vegetables See when I don't want to stress myself. This is what I do I just take my scissors and this is normal scissors not even special kitchen scissors If you are still asking yourself do I need a blender in my kitchen then you have not started because I don't know what you're using to blend your stuff that you cook with I always blend my tomatoes I don't like to blend it in the market or, or outside because I feel like I want to know everything that's inside my tomatoes I like to cut my tomatoes open so I find that having a blender is very important lately i got a hand blender so this is different from your normal blender and it just has this um, attachment where you can just put it into a bowl and blend away so sometimes i don't even use my normal blender anymore i use my hand blender because it is very convenient especially when i'm blending a lot or maybe sometimes so little see let me tell you lately it's been this hand blender <laughs> and i love it My next most useful kitchen item has to be this paring knife. It is a very small knife, but it is small and mighty. A paring knife is like a small all-purpose knife and it's perfect for, let's say you're peeling vegetables, you need to do something like divining shrimp, like what I'm doing. You can't use a big proper knife for that. You need a small knife. And I find that I use this for more than what I'm supposed to use it for. I use it to cut vegetables. I use it for everything, basically. I use it to remove seeds from fruits. And I find that it is the knife that I go to whenever I need to do something with a knife. Now I'm going to be talking about processors. This is a new processor I just got, but I had a processor previously and it was very useful and still is very relevant to me. I use it for chopping up things like okra, as you can see in this recipe. I use it for blending beans. I use it for peeling beans. I use it for making pounded yam. See, I have so many uses for my processor. When I use it for my okra, it's actually perfect. It's better than using my hands. And I use it for beans, like I said. I did a video, a moi moi video, I believe. Or is it an Akara video? Yes, this was an Akara video that I did. And I blended these beans from it being a seed to something very, very smooth and silky. And it whipped it for me also. So it was so, so amazing. That was my first experience using it like this. You can use it for chopping. You can use it for slicing. You can use it for whipping. You can use it for, what's this other word again? You can use it for mixing. <laughs> I'm thinking of all the things you can use your processor for, but this particular processor, you can use it for making dough, like dough that you used to bake. I've not done it before, but it says that you can, and I've seen people using it. So if you're still thinking, do you need a processor? Yes, you do. My next item is a chopping board. Is there anything you can use chopping board for? There are different types of chopping boards. You have the plastic ones, you have the wooden types. Lately, I've been liking the wooden types and I even feel like the bigger the chopping board, the better. <laughs> so I'm looking for a 
proper big chopping board that will help me because you need it to chop things you can't be chopping like your tomatoes on plastic plates i see some of you doing that <laughs> you can't be using your hand to chop things that's not that's not a nice thing to do because you can get injured doing that so i feel everybody needs a chopping board in your kitchen my next item is a colander which i also call a sieve sometimes do you know that I look at this thing and I'm like, oh, this thing is not important. I don't really need it. But on days when I need it, it is so, so important. <laughs> very, very important. I actually have about four of them. I think only three in this video. But as you can see, this is a very important kitchen item. This next item is my hand mixer. I would love to have a stand mixer which can do everything for me but i only have this hand mixer right now and still it works wonders i filmed or i uploaded ice cream recipe a few weeks back i think maybe two months ago or so and you can't whip this thing unless you have a mixer your hands will just break it took about 10 minutes to whip my cream and to make it stiff like this. And for recipes like this, you need a mixer. For me, I use it all the time. I also use it when I'm doing like maybe akara, moi moi. I use it to whip my beans butter. It really helps to give it a nice consistency. If you don't have a lot of money, I would say go with a hand mixer. But if you have like a lot to spend, then go with a stand mixer. Even though you can use them for the same thing, I feel the hand mixer still has its advantages. Like it's tinier, it's more affordable, and you can just quickly do what you want to do. But with a stand mixer, that's like a proper machine. <laughs> so I would like to have a stand mixer. But right now, my hand mixer, it does an amazing job. It is fabulous. As a food blogger, it is difficult to bring up recipes when there are no measurements. And the only way I make sure that my food tastes the same all the time is to have measurements. So I use measuring cups all the time. I know that if we're eating rice, it's four cups of rice. And I know how many spoons of seasoning I have to use. So I use my measuring cups every day my measuring spoons all the time for ingredients and it always helps me out it's good when you have these measurements that way you don't have to be guessing and nothing wrong with guessing or even our ancestors were guessing but if you want consistent results in your cooking then you need measuring cups and measuring spoons next i have a tongue and this is the only tongue that i have so i feel like i need to go and get another one before this one will get missing but this one has been one of my most useful items it is stainless steel it has served me many years maybe four or five years and i don't think it will be getting spoiled soon the only thing that can happen to this tongue is that it will get lost or stolen <laughs> but this is one of the most useful items I have it's kind of like an extension of your fingers you can just use it to easily grip stuff that you need and I just I just really love it you might easily overlook bowls but you need bowls every day in the kitchen you need them to mix, you need them to whisk, you need them to wash, you need to prep your meals in a bowl before putting it in a pot. So if you don't have a bowl, what are you using? You are prepping in the pot and cooking in the pot. It's not easy now. Everybody needs a bowl and lately I got a very big bowl. I didn't think I needed it but it's been so useful to me. I almost did not purchase it the day I was buying it because it was 5,000 naira, I think. But I think that's 5,000 naira well spent. So this is my list of 10 most useful kitchen items. Of course, I didn't mention my cooker because that goes without saying. <laughs> and I also didn't mention things like microwave because I feel like those are pretty standard. If you don't have a cooker, if you don't have a microwave, then you don't have a kitchen now. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. So tell me what your top five most useful kitchen items are. Click the like button on this video and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.